The uranium enrichment facility dug into the side of this mountain is the ground zero of Iran's nuclear program. And it just became more radioactive, literally. A new report from the International Atomic Energy Agency says inspectors found traces of uranium enriched to 27 percent, closer to bomb grade levels than anything Iran has produced before. Nuclear experts say it was probably just a mistake by technicians who intended to go only to 20 percent, but still evidence Iran is installing higher quality centrifuges capable of spinning uranium gas to higher levels of enrichment in less time. In the last three months, Iran has installed 350 more centrifuges at the underground complex known as Fordow, bringing the total to more than 1,000 and adding fuel to the fire of suspicions held by many, including Dennis Ross, once the Obama administration's point man on Iran. It certainly creates an impression that the only thing they're about is developing a nuclear weapons capability. In talks this week in Baghdad, the U.S. and five other nations demanded Iran cease enriching uranium to the 20 percent level. Iran, in turn, demanded a lifting of sanctions which are crippling its economy. The two sides could only agree to meet again next month. Although Defense Secretary Panetta once thought Israel might strike as early as this spring, he and other U.S. officials now believe President Obama's talks with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu in March convinced the Israelis to hold off. Do you think that the U.S. has bought time? I think the, that, in fact, there is an understanding between the United States and Israel that the diplomacy should be allowed to play out. And Scott, there also seems to be an understanding that if diplomacy fails, the U.S. will join Israel in striking Iran. David, thanks very much.